So I'm gonna start the fursuit feet. Um, I downloaded a pattern for 20 bucks by Nefer Titty, I think. Nefer Titty. Um, so I'm giving credit to her because <laughs> I could not figure out how to do this myself without making a ton of mistakes. And now I'm going to start, you know, putting the feet together. I'm going to trace out two of these on this, uh, what is this called? I don't even know what this stuff is, but this like foam stuff. You know what's funny? I had this for over like <laughs> six months. I ordered this in December of 2022, and now that it's September, I'm finally using this, <laughs> which is so funny. I thought I would use it much sooner. I'm going to use uh, a bread cutter. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the two feet pad things. I'm going to glue some Crocs onto them. Um, I have to say, I think Crocs are the ugliest shoe ever invented. I don't know how anyone can wear these. They're just ugly, but they're really good for fursuit making. Um, I put these on and, you know, they're very comfortable shoes. So when I actually glue them on, uh, you know, the foot pads, if I can show you that correctly, they, uh, they'll work really, really well. Because Nefertiti, she used, like, um, she used, like, a completely different shoe. But I actually think Crocs are better after doing some research. And other furries use Crocs. So, yeah, I'm using Crocs. Um, some, sa some calves. So, so these will be the calves, I believe, of, like, um, yeah, they'll be calves like this, probably. If you see that, the outside toes, these are the inside toes. And uh, yeah, so now all that's left is I have to glue the stuff together. Uh, that'll be really fun. All right, how's it going, everyone? So I've, I'm, um, I'm starting to construct the feet. I feel like they're coming along pretty well. And, but I feel like, like I've been doing so much carving and cutting. When I cut it out, the foam pieces, uh, they were very angular. So now I'm trying to carve them down and make them look more organic looking. I did make a mistake, like when I was putting on the shoes for these, onto the, the pad thing, um, I put them a little bit too far in the back. And so I didn't really have a lot of room to glue on this back piece. Like, you can see how it's, like, coming off because there was no space to glue, and it's the same with this one. So it kind of, like, like even then, when I cut it out, you can still see the shoe sticking out right there. But, but I mean, like, if you take a, a more of a bird's eye view, they actually look pretty good. The feet are coming. They're coming around. And, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta vacuum all of this up after I throw the big chunks away. I also burn myself on, on my finger, if you can see right there. I, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I, I burned my knuckle and now it hurts. I burned myself so many times gluing, so yep, that is it. It's been a few days. Um, I'm almost about done with the foam parts of the feet. Um, I think I'm going to carve them down just a little bit more. I've been spending the past five days carving them, and I've made a mess like this literally every single night. It takes a long time to carve these down, but, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them. There's a couple of things, like, for example, I'm wondering if, like, these toes, if I should trim them down even more, because I can't tell if they're too big or not. That's the first thing. So I think I'm probably just going to leave them like that. I mean, this is my first attempt at making feet, so I can't. I just got to go with it and see if it was a mistake afterwards. And then um, when I was adding like this bridge part, I glued it on kind of weird. So like that is like curved or bent inwards a little bit too much. So it looks weird. And just overall, I think... 
these feet are I just gotta carve them down and make them look more organic because they still look pretty square like do they look pretty good this is kind of a weird angle I don't know you know one thing that I think about like I kind of wish like I fused like these two toes should go together to make one big toe and then like two side toes um because four toes I don't know it just doesn't look natural for some reason okay so I did some more carving and fixing and this is the ultimate result so I think I am done working with the foam part of the feet cut some of the these pieces off to push them in more to give it more of an organic shape they do look a little lopsided like this one doesn't look as good than this one in my opinion yeah I think I think they look much better than before especially um, since I added some more padding for this part right here yeah so the next step is to start furring the the foam uh so i'm gonna tape around it um the tutorial that i'm watching by nefer titty so she's gonna um fill the insides with this kind of like nice fabric and i don't know if i'm gonna do that i feel like i'm too lazy because um like i don't know i feel like that's unnecessary that's a lot of work for a very little reward in my opinion <laughs> because um so i think i'm just gonna skip that especially because like if you look inside of these like i have crocs down there and crocs are already pretty comfortable so i don't know if it's really necessary i mean i feel like a lot of fursuit makers put like some kind of cloth inside here to make it look nice but i mean if you're actually wearing the first suit no one's actually going to see the inside of it they're only going to see the outside so yeah i'm i think i'm just gonna fur the outside duct taped both of them um i also added some claws um the claws were honestly one of the hardest parts of doing this because um I don't know it's just really hard to carve down to get like this nice um claw shape like i'll have the front like the shins i think the shins will be black like the sides and the shins will be black but the backside calves will be white on the back and then the feet i forgot to talk about this but like the bottom of the feet i haven't duct taped that yet i think i'm gonna do it towards the end but I think I'm going to make the bottom feet white with orange. Um, or maybe black, since, I don't know, you're walking on the ground and the white fur would just get dirty. So maybe I'll just do black fur with uh, orange pads. Okay, so I finally cut out all of the pieces, and the next step is to start sewing the pieces together. Also, uh, if I sound muffled, I'm wearing my mask right now, just to keep all of the um, the fibers from getting in my mouth, because it's not good. So, but, um, yeah, so I shaved, I shaved these two pieces a little bit. And I don't know if I shaved them that good. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I tried to get the black pieces about the same length as this size. I think I shortened them a little bit too much, which is uh, unfortunate. But I don't know. I, uh, I, when I was ordering these the black pieces, I accidentally ordered the monster fur instead of like the sleek short fur like the white 
And so I had to shave it down and I didn't really want to order any more fur. And again, this is my first fursuit. So it's like, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around. So yeah, so now I'm just working on sewing and, or I'm, I'm about to. So I got to sew all of these little pieces together. So I do plan to sew these two pieces together and then to glue them on. Um, and again, I don't know if I should have made this part white and the other parts black. Like, I don't know if that was a bad styling choice, but I'm just gonna go along with it and just hope for the best. And then once I'm done sewing and gluing on all of the big pieces, I'm going to put on uh, orange fur that's really, really short for the claws. So the claws are going to be orange. And this is what I have for the claws. <laughs> and I don't know how good the claws are going to be when I cut out the fabric and wrap it around. So I'm really hoping it doesn't look terrible, but it, it was really hard to... Like duct taping these claws is challenging because they're so small and they're kind of delicate. And then I'm also working on the bottom of the feet as well. Yeah, so I hope to finish this pretty soon. The next couple of days, I procrastinate so much. It's ridiculous. Like, I just have such a problem with, like, not getting stuff done. But, um, yeah, but I am making progress. I'm almost there. So I finally finished uh, constructing the bottom portion of the paws. Um, so that's what it will look like on the bottom. Uh, I think they look pretty good. Uh, I definitely made a lot of mistakes. Um, the shapes are a little bit lopsided if you look closely. From a distance though, it probably doesn't matter, especially like since they're fursuit feet, I'm going, right, these will just be on the ground, like I'll be walking on them, so it doesn't really matter too much. And I almost, I was almost thinking of not even doing this. Like, I was almost like, do I really want to do this? But I just decided to do it anyway, because um, it's fun to like, show them, like to, to like lift my leg up and be like, ha ha, look at my feet, you know? So I had to make some bottom stuff. But uh, yeah, these took really, they took forever to make. Again, I still haven't learned how to use the sewing machine. And also I had to shave so much. It's so messy. I need to vacuum all of this crap up. And also if I sound muffled, it's because I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, it's like 2020 all over again. But that's because I don't want to get fur dust in my mouth and lungs and then die. So yeah. Um, so I'm glad I finished that. The next thing I'm going to cut out these and sew these, which I don't know, that's like, a bunch more work. My god, these fursuit paws have been taking forever, and the reason why they've been taking forever, uh, I got sick like a month and a half ago, so I was out for like two weeks, and then school started to get busy, and then I started to struggle with mental health problems, and I just couldn't, like, I just couldn't get this done, and then I also procrastinate like crazy, so I haven't been able to, like, finish these when I wanted to finish them so but I feel like I'm about there and I'm I'm really excited for that I also wanted to do the fursuit tail in this video but um I don't think I have I feel like I just need to put out another video so after after I finish the feet I'm gonna work on the tail so I finally finished the claws um they look a little funky. I haven't glued anything on yet, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Here's this one. I haven't put on the toe fur yet, but yeah. So I think the claws look pretty good. And I think they'll look better after I'm done gluing. The only thing left that I think I need to fix is I need to put some kind of fabric in here uh, to make it look nicer and I think I'll just do that later or something or I'll get around to it because I feel like I've been working on the feet for such a long time and I'm just tired of working on them. And I, But in the future, I think I'm just going to put like some black fabric in here.
when I have ex extra time or w when I'm like about finished with my first suit, I think I I'm gonna do that. But other than that, I just have to glue and then I'll be done. So I finally finished these. I feel like, let me, yeah. So I got them, here they are. Darren and you. Um, so yeah, uh, before I do like a presentation of me wearing them, I just like to talk about them just a little bit more. So I feel like the claws, I really messed up on these. They look so ugly. It's like, it's like my furry has a claw condition where the keratin and his claws has, is like messed up. So they grow deformed or something. I don't know. When I was putting the bottom of the paw pads on, like the bottom portion, I didn't sew it to the rest of it. So you can see like this line right here. And that doesn't look very good. But I was too lazy to sew the bottom to the rest of everything else. Because honestly, oh, I just want to get these done. Like, we don't have time for this. We do not have time for this. So, um, yeah. But overall, I think these look really good. Oh, yeah. And then the other thing, I'm not really sure why I made the black portion go down here. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I probably would have made this portion white, like this bottom, like right here. This should have been white, and then the rest could have been black, but oh well, I guess. And then the final thing is, I'll add something in here soon. I know seeing, like, the foam stick out, it's almost like a bone sticking out of skin or something. Like, it just looks so ugly. Like, why would you have um, bone right there or foam right there? I don't know. I'll fix it soon. But other than that, I think these look pretty darn good. Let's... All right. Here's me wearing them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 